You know, I'm pretty sure a couple of videos ago, it was either Crossfire Emperors or the Advanced Crossfire video. I made a joke how there might be a map called Fire Cross, I think, or I, I said at the very least something to that extent. And here it is, Fire Cross. It, it exists. All right, so here we go. It was designed by someone named Leo from the hlda.m.org. Uh, that's a site that's popped up a few times. Again, I don't know if it exists anymore. Uh, the testers is um, E.T. Nick, who did, a, I think it was Crossfire Emperor, so there you go. Uh, I guess uh, HLDM is going to hold a monopoly on Crossfire variations now. It was also tested by E.T. Ponity, Nitro, Dr. Roy, Kiss BB, or Baby, I guess it's supposed to be, Dr. Cheater, and Storm Screamer. Cool. Uh, yes, it's just deathmatch only. It's based off the standard map Crossfire. Uh, we used the good old Hammer Editor 3.4. You know, so use the zoners of Half Life tools. I actually remember know what ZHL ZHLT stands for now. Whoa, -ho. Um, a custom variation looks like uh, Wally and Gimp. Good stuff. Uh, known bugs, none. Build time nine months. So yeah, I, I guess you know either they just didn't know what they wanted to do with it, or they're busy with other stuff. Who am I to judge? Yeah, uh, there's some uh, compiled stuff. You know, we know how to install it. Copyright. Stuff. Lots of stuff. Authors may use this level as a base to build additional levels as long as you give me credit in your readme as using this map as a base to plus build your level. Yeah, I don't think English is their first language, I'm pretty certain. You may you must not distribute this level unless you include this file with no modifications. If you don't cooperate, then don't distribute it in any form. Ah! Oh, oh, I'm evil! This level may be distributed only over the internet. You are not authorized to put this level on any CD or distribute it in any way without any written permission. Without my written permission, sorry. Were people using CDs in 2014? I don't believe so. Um, please visit halflifedm.org for any bug reports or questions. And yeah, there you go. It's cool. So yeah, this is the uh, map is uh, dated May 2010th, 2014. So yeah, this map is dated May 10th, 2014. And it is solid. Um, again, I'm a little bit torn if I would say it's better than regular Crossfire. And I'm saying that this time, though, because, you know, we've already talked about some maps that either, like, completely make it its own separate thing. And, like, kind of, like, you know, other maps that kind of... Rem so, yeah, this map was uh, dated uh, May 10th, 2014. And I want to say this is another map I think is better than the original Crossfire. Uh, the gist of this is, as you're going to find out real quick, is that it is literally the opposite. And you're going to say, how could you opposite something that has no end or beginning? You might be already kind of pieced together in your head, but you'll take a look. It's basically, think of it this way. This is basically Crossfire from a parallel universe where it was Fire Cross. And then, you know, Crossfire got released years later as someone's a, like a rendition of this. Think of it that way. Or not, because it's a stupid way to think about it. So yeah, as you can see, you start in the courtyard, which is no longer, you know, the, the station or anything like that. It's actually a shooting range now. A uh, very different aesthetic to this map. Uh, much more gritty and like, you know, higher res textures and stuff like that. Which, considering how much later this map came out from the original, that makes a lot of sense. But the best thing about this map right away, it absolutely blew my mind, it's got a fucking gauze! Or Egon, sorry, I always say the wrong thing. I can't believe it, I'm so damn happy. So yeah, anyway, you got a shooting range here. I don't actually think these do anything, but I... I swear I shot one once and it actually did something. I've only played this map once before, basically, so... So, yeah, you can kind of got these areas you can kind of shoot people at here, but, you know... You really don't want to be hanging out here because there's really not any supplies or anything. You know, it's mostly just for the aesthetic, if you will, the con like the continuity. Uh, you can get up here if you really want to. If you want to, like, you know, you can jump on the car wreckage here. You gotta come from the certain angle because the collision's a little bit odd. And you can kind of do this. Funny, the skybox is the same, but not almost nothing about it is different. If you know how to jump properly, you can actually get up there and, you know, get shot at immediately because, again, there's really nothing going on. Now, as you see up here, you may have noticed there's kind of like, you know, this console, like, you know, or, sorry, I'm thinking ahead. I thought the console's outside. You might see these right here. You can actually fire these, but if you come down here, yeah, it's one level too high. You could get in here. Uh, you could jump in there, or you could take the proper way. You could use these. I don't actually believe they do anything, though. I've tried every button in existence to try to get them to fire or something, but I think they're more just, like, cameras for, like, a goof or something like that. Because there's another one, um, uh, in the uh, main area, which we'll take a peek out in a second here. So, yeah, if you want to get out... Oh, yeah, by the way, yeah, observation area. So maybe that, like, you know, proves my theory. 
There's a lot of little signs in this map trying to tell you where to go. We'll talk about the main area in a second, but some of it's the same. Like, this elevator's still here. This will bring you up to here still. Um, I feel overall there's fewer weapons, but they're, like, more higher tiered. And, like, in with greater ammo concentration, so you're more likely to, like, you know, have a greater firefight. I'm going a little bit of ahead of myself. So, considering that this is a reverse of Crossfire, you'll notice that the blast doors are here. So, um, there's a button in the main area, well, it used to be the main area where you could set something off. We'll take a look at that in a bit, but yeah, once you, like, set that off, you get locked in here. Tunnel's the same. This area's the same, mostly, too. Um, but as you come into here, you can, you can kind of see the, um, main area as it was originally, too. But again, you'll notice some slight alterations. Tunnel's the same, but we got blue lights, so that's great. No rocket launcher out here. The map, uh, Leo or whatever their name is, try to make you go into the video, like, the buildings more in order to do something. This, uh, area still has the, um, charger in it still, though. I don't know if the secret area is still here. I will tell you this right here. For the life of me, I cannot figure out how to get this to open. You might not be able to hear it over the gunfire, but there is, it's making the noise like it's being interacted with. Except I never can get it to open. Like, explosions didn't seem to work either. You know, strong weapons didn't get seem to work either. So I'm going to assume... Oh, you can close this door too if you want. I never thought to do that and then use this. But yeah, it still doesn't do shit. Um, I don't know if it's got something to do with this console here. To get that um, thing opened up. Maybe I gotta go up here. I don't know. I just It never seemed to want to open up for me. So there's probably some awesome stuff down there like a rave. But we'll just never know because I'm just stupid to figure it out. Sorry! So anyway, let's check out some of the lower areas here too. You got this neat little kind of maintenance area here as you can see with more long jumps. This is where the long jump was I think originally. Uh, you can actually move these. I'm not sure why you'd want to do that. But maybe it's got some uh, like something to do with the secrets of like, you know, the eternity or something like that. But, you know, I just I couldn't tell you that. Uh, let's go back up here now, though. Uh, you know, this area is the same. That's where I came up from. So, you know, you've already seen it. No need to repeat myself there. Grab some satchels if you want, though. Uh, I grabbed some claymores from somewhere. I can't figure out where. This area is mostly the same. Again, no need to really dwell on that. Uh, for a little goof. You can fire this. I don't think it actually does anything if you keep getting bullseyes, though. But it's a nice little, like, you know, some flavor. I like it. Um, you grab the crossbow here, which is going to be really helpful still. It's always, like, crossbow is higher, like, you know. Crossbow is fire helpful on crossfire, and it's sure shit's going to be helpful on fire cross. You can hear there's some dogs in the background, too, now. Nice little atmosphere touch. Grab the shotgun if you want it. You can see it's like a little bit of a shooting gallery here that connects it back into the, um, like that kind of main area over here again. I'll grab the gauze here. It's going to be mega helpful. I don't believe you can get onto any of the buildings here. I didn't try, yeah. So that sucks. We'll talk about this building in a second. But first, let's go over here. Um, if you want to, you can get, you can jump over with the long jump there. But if you want to get into normally, here's how you do it. Grab the rocket. That's good. Um, I don't think there's any point to this little book area here, as far as I'm aware. Again, I couldn't figure out any secrets, but it's a nice little touch. Archives. Yeah, see? Trying some world building here. I like it. You can come up here now. We'll come back this way here, but yeah, if you didn't... If you want to go the proper way, you have to drop down to get the gauze. Because you can't climb back that, up that thing, but that doesn't really matter anyway. We can just gauze jump. So yeah, it's all good. Anyway, there's this area over here if you want it, which again, you can jump over to this part right here. As always, but we're going to save that over for last. Uh, come this way. You got a security thing going on here. You can press this. And it blows up. I forget exactly what it's blowing up. Um... Um, I, I don't know what this is blowing up. I think maybe this gun out here? Yeah. Now, here's some real awesome shit. Not the hive hand, of course. You know, not to dissuade the hive hand, but you know, it's not really what the awesome shit I was talking about. You can't go around the map like you could in Crossfire Emperors. Lame. Um, you do have this gun, though. And this thing is, got, like, basically the hand of God. Like, look at this. Well, now I'm not showing it yet. Never mind. Yeah. This is how I first found out about this easter egg here. That's cute. But yeah, if I wait for some people to get into the line of sight of this... And my aim doesn't suck. It's basically insta-kill. If you can stay on for more than a, like a second. Yeah. So yeah, you're probably gonna get fired at a lot though if you're gonna use that for more than a certain length of time. So just be careful with that. But no, incredibly powerful weapon. You can turn off the lights too. Yeah. Anyway. 
Let's go talk about the main building now, which you can, I think it might be known to like be able to tell what the climax of this map is going to be. And that uh, equivalent to the airstrikes are in here. And you'd be right. This is the control door. Launch. See, the cool thing is, that's what launches the missiles as you see there. So now it's going to be closing the uh, doors into the, like, the, the original starting area now, too. So it's more of a rush. But you can do this. You can freeze people in place. For, I think it's supposed to be 10 seconds, but for some reason it just doesn't seem that long. I mean, obviously if you weren't an idiot and wasted it like I did there, that could be a very tactical thing to do. And there's also some snarks here, so that's good. Basically, you want to just kind of try to defend this area, because that's going to be a really helpful tool, especially if you've got, like, the crossbow or something. And yeah, there you go, there's the explosion. Um, it blows up the uh, target things too, so that's a really nice touch. The a the aesthetic of this map is great. It really nails that like kind of gritty, rundown kind of like military like area. I don't really know what I'm looking for. And there you go. That's the other camera battery. If you want to check out how that looks, camera battery <laughs> or camera thing. Yeah, there you go. I don't know how often the freeze thing like you know like you're able to use it. You can't spam it, of course, so because that'd be dumb. Same with the launch missile. Obviously using the snarks to like get the jump on some frozen people is a strategy if you want to do that. Yeah, see? You have to wait a bit just like in the original crossfire. So yeah, fire cross here. I think it's got its edge, the edge on its uh, parallel universe counterpart. Check this one out. Oh, I love my baby, my gods. Or my Egon. I was going to say the wrong weapon. I love you so much though. I feel so honored to finally be back in your presence. Oh. Some days you just can't find a med kit. Yeah, also too, if you're going to try to camp this spot here, you're really going to want to be careful for people jumping over the window there. I'm not sure the bots have the capacity to figure that out, but you never know. Also, it's nice that they put the AR grenades there because it'll give you something to really like throw over if you really want to be careful. Again, I can't find any goddamn med kits, so... You know, I gotta play it cautious if I want to rule the roost up here. Also, I'm wondering if the windows close up. Let's find out. Yeah, they do. Good stuff. Oh, hey! I, I didn't actually know that they actually showed the missiles, too. Already better than Crossfire in that regard. Oh, wow! I actually hit some... Ooh! 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 Spicy meatball! Can I get one more? Yeah! Oh, oh. Wait, no. I think someone else killed him. Damn it! Oh yeah, I forgot to kind of mention here, there's grenades and batteries there if you needed them. I was just not like, you know, in La La Land when I was talking about that area, I guess. Sorry. Still don't know what that does. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, too easy. This is just, oh, this is just insane. This is just not even fair. This is an absolute massacre. The gun's stuck. The gun's stuck! The gun's stuck! Guys, the gun's stuck! Okay, there we go. I don't, I don't know what was going on there. Well. I'm... Like it. Why was that so much effort to pick up those grenades there? Absurd! Obviously, a good thing you can do is... Just do this. You don't even have to, like, go the proper way. Ha ha ha! Look at the people that are about to get subjugated. What? Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! What's going on? It like warped to my position. I mean, that wouldn't be the strangest thing I've ever seen in this game, but still, that was just utterly horrifying. Oh, uh, that's the only crappy thing is that it's not, you'll notice that it's the second time now that like that freaking thing's gotta get stuck. But then again, I had the rocket launcher in my hand both times, so I don't know if there's some sort of weird glitch involving that. Probably not, though.